Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Now we are going to discuss about the hydrogen spectrum. What are all the spectral lines are there in a in case of hydrogen atom? See when you consider the Bohr third postulate, when electron jumps from higher orbit n two. to lower orbit n1 then energy emits in the form of photon e equal to h nu equal to hc by lambda equal to higher energy energy of higher level minus energy of lower level where energy of nth level is minus m e power 4 z square by 8 n square h square epsilon not square so that hc by lambda equal to if you take m e power 4 z square by 8 h square epsilon not square common then 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square this is the equation will come then wavelength or wave number of the photon 1 by lambda is given by m e power 4 by 8 h cube c epsilon not square times 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square times z square and this constant we call it as capital r that is rydberg constant rydberg constant now when you consider 1 by lambda then it will become r z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square but for hydrogen atom we are talking so for hydrogen atom z equal to 1 implies 1 by lambda will become r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square where r value is 1.097 into 10 power 7 per meter r 1 by r value approximately 912 or 915 angstroms so this is what happens when electron jumps from higher energy level to lower energy level in electromagnetic radiation emits in the form of photon whose wavelength equation is given our wave number is given by this equation so that now here when you consider the different energy levels of hydrogen so like this is the ground state n equal to 1 then next one is n equal to 2 next one is n equal to 3 n equal to 4 n equal to 5 n equal to 6 so on now when electron is in ground state it is stable but when electron is in any other state other than ground state that means excited state then electron try to come back to the ground state that means when electron is jumping from any higher level to the ground state then the photon emits that all together we call it as lyman series so for lyman series n1 is 1 n2 can be 2 3 4 5 so on up to infinity and infinity is called series limit that means minimum wavelength corresponds to n2 equal to infinity and the maximum wavelength corresponds to n2 equal to 2 similarly the electron can jump to first excited state from any other higher energy level so in that case all the spectral lines for comes under one region that we call it as balmer series and here n1 is 2 and n2 can be 3 4 5 so on up to infinity so for every series there is series limit infinity and that corresponds to minimum wavelength and there is one n2 minimum and that corresponds to maximum wavelength now similar way we can take the next series when the electron is coming to 
third orbit or second excited state, then the all comes under one state. That is passion series, and where n one is three and n two will begin from four, five, six up to infinity. Similarly, next one we call it as bracket series, and where this is n one will start from four. N one is four and n two will begin from five, six, seven, eight, so on. And the last one fund series, where n one is five and n two will be will begin from six, seven, so on up to infinity. So for every series, infinity is the limit one, and that corresponds to minimum wavelength. And when n two is minimum, that corresponds to maximum wavelength. So they can ask the wavelength or energy for any particular transition in a question. So let's see. how the questions will be asked based on this thing that one particular equation only like hydrogen atoms are excited from ground state to the state of principal quantum number 4 then the number of spectral lines observed will be see when electron is in nth orbit then number of spectral lines possible Equal to n into n minus one by two, like it is in fourth state now. See here, n equal to one, two, three, four. So n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to three, n equal to four. So n equal to four means four into four minus one by two. How many spectral lines will come? Two two is a so two three is a six will come. But if you want to check, first you check Lyman series. So one. Two, three Lyman series possible. Then Balmer one, two. Then Passion. So total one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that, you have to count how many spectral lines possible when the electron is in any orbit other than ground state. Now, next question: If an electron in n equal to three orbit of hydrogen atom jumps down to n equal to two, the amount of energy released and the wavelength of radiation emitted are. See here, energy general energy is uh, minus thirteen point six electron volt by n square. Now n equal to one means e one, that is minus thirteen point six electron volt. N equal to two means e two, that is minus three point four electron volt. And n equal to three means e three, that is minus one point five one electron volt. N equal to four means e four, that is minus zero point eight five electron volt or eight four. N equal to five means e five, that is minus zero point five four electron volt. So at least remember five energy levels. Now it is going from n equal to three to n equal to two, so that the energy of the photon emitted is e three minus e two, where e three is minus one point five one minus half, e two is minus three point four. You will get the answer in terms of electron volt. Now, if you know the electron volt energy in electron volt, then lambda equal to twelve thousand four hundred by e in electron volt. Then you will get lambda in angstroms from photoelectric effect, photon energy wavelength relation we have taken already. Then you will get the wavelength also. So like that, you have to understand from between which two states the electron is jumping. Accordingly, you need to take the equation. Next, if the wavelength of the first line of the Lyman series for the hydrogen atom is one two one six angstroms, then the wavelength of the first line of the Balmer series of the hydrogen atom. See first line of Lyman. First line means n one is one always. N two starts from two, so starting is n one to n two is two. So that one by lambda one equal to r into one by one square minus one by two square. Then comes first line of Balmer series. Now, first line of Balmer series means n one is two fixed, n two will start from three. So, first line means three. Or they can ask second line or third line, anything depends. Then the corresponding wavelength one by lambda two equal to one by two square minus one by three square. So here comes it will become one minus one by four. 
so that is 3 r by 4 and here 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 so 5 r by 36 then you divide both the equations whenever you have two equations with you you can add them you can subtract them you can multiply them you can divide them so that you will get the you have to get the answer like when you divide like 1 by lambda 1 by 1 by lambda 2 that is nothing but lambda 2 by lambda 1 so 1 by lambda 1 means 3 r by 4 and 5 r by 36 so that 3 by 4 into 36 by 5 4 nines are equal to 27 by 5 then lambda 2 will become 27 lambda 1 by 5 where lambda 1 is 1260 angstrom like that same equation but the way of asking question may be different you have to understand you have to solve the equations you have to frame the equation and solve the equations now here comes energy levels a b c of a certain atom corresponds to increasing values of energy if are the wavelengths of radiation corresponding to the transition c to b c to b means e c certain atom corresponds to increasing values of energy that is e a less than e b less than e c now e c minus e b equal to the corresponding wavelength is lambda 1 h c by lambda 1 and b to a so e b minus e a equal to h c by lambda 2 and then e c minus e a equal to h c by lambda 3 then they are asking the relation now you add first two equations like e c minus e b plus e b minus e a then you will get nothing but e c minus e a so that this this and this this is hc by lambda 1 plus this is hc by lambda 2 equal to hc by lambda 2 then you will get the relation here also similar equation but the way of asking question is different just manipulation based question not the calculation based question so they can ask calculation based or manipulation based question now one last and final question the energy levels of a certain atom for first second and third levels are e 4e by 3 and 2e respectively a photon of wavelength lambda is emitted for a transition 3 to 1 what will be the wavelength of emission for transition 2 to 1 the energy levels of a certain atom for first second and third levels are e 4e by 3 and 2e respectively now a photon of wavelength lambda is emitted for a transition 3 to 1. So 3 to 1 means 2e minus e equal to hc by lambda first equation. What will be the wavelength for the transition 2 to 1? 2 to 1 means 2 is 4e by 3 minus e equal to hc by let's take lambda dash. So from here hc by lambda equal to e one equation from here hc by lambda dash equal to e by 3 then again you have two equation just divide them like hc by lambda by hc by lambda dash equal to e by e by 3 equal to 3 so hc hc cancel lambda dash by lambda equal to 3 so lambda e dash equal to 3 times lambda again manipulation based question so like that calculation or manipulation based question they can ask. So just understand the question, understand the transition between which it is happening. Then make the equation for photon energy or wavelength of photon so that you can solve the questions. Similar questions I have given as an assignment. So just try to solve them. Then you will get the better idea. And see here, five questions are there from NCRT also. Try to solve them, right? So thank you all. We'll continue in the coming session with the next question.